Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And I just thought I'd come on today um, to show you about something which I discovered um, in the local pound shop. So everybody in the UK, your local pound shop, they do wooden heart confetti. Um, 50 of them for a pound and they are little tiny wooden um, confetti um, with Mr and Mrs on them. However, if you turn them over, you can make some fantastic little embellishments. So, um, as I say, 50 of them for a pound um, in the wedding section down at the pound shop. And I thought I would show you what I'm actually doing with these. So, um, these ones... I've just actually coloured with our blends. So I've done two in the Cherry Cobbler, two in the um, Calypso Coral, two in the, um, I think it's Crushed Curry. Um, and then I thought, oh, I'm sure I can do it with the Shimmer Paint. So this is what I'm doing. I've done three in the Copper and I'm just going to do a couple in the gold. So little paintbrush, put some in the lid and literally just paint over the little tiny wooden embellishments. Um, and because it's wood, um, it soaks in really quickly. So you just need to sort of work it through. Um, get your finger sort of out of the way and just sort of rest it on the side. Um, you could use a pokey tool or something like that to hold it, but I don't mind getting a little bit of the shimmer on it. And then put that one out of the side to dry. It's a tiny little bit on here. Um, you can colour them with probably, um, as I say, any of our blends because the alcohol obviously soaks into the wood quite nicely. Um, any of the shimmer paint, um, you could probably do them with any of the water-based, um, so our stamping right markers, something like that. Um, I haven't tried that yet. I've literally just started doing this and I thought, oh, this looks really good. So I thought I would share it with you. Um, remember to wash your paintbrush out afterwards, which I am going to do later, uh, as soon as I've finished on this video. And what we need now is our pot of dazzling diamonds. And we don't stop this anymore. Um, I've still got some old crystal effects, but you need something like the crystal effects. Now, this is very, very old. So it's actually um, the top's completely sealed up and some of the sides, but there's just enough in there. So I'm going to take um, those two will need a moment to dry. I would leave them sort of maybe five minutes or so to dry until they're quite dry to the touch. You see that's still wet, so I won't do that one. I'm going to show you um, one of the little, let's do a red one actually. I was gonna say, I've got a yellow one to show you. And what you need to do is to just gloop out. And as I say, this is a very old pot of crystal effects because stamping up stopped doing it, oh, I don't know, a little while ago. So I'm literally just squeezing it out of the bottom here. Um, it's quite a gloopy sort of um, substance and what you need to do is to get um, hopefully you'll have one with a lid on still um, or with a little point on it but you just need a blob and then take that up like that okay so I'm going to put this lid on because I will as you know I'm quite a frugal crafter so I try and use absolutely everything up and then you will need a little um, skewer, cocktail stick um, or an old pokey tool because what you need to do is you need to just literally move this across to the edges. And um, it's fine to have a big blob like this because the bigger the blob, um, yes, it'll take a while to dry but you do need to leave this, um, I would say, overnight. Um, but as I say, just literally with your um, skewer or 
pokey tool, something that you don't mind, um, that you can get rid of afterwards. And literally, you are just going to move it across. Um, crystal effects is a lovely thing because when it dries, it dries completely clear. So um, just by sort of tapping it through like this, what will happen is it will move to the edges, but it won't leave um, blobs or marks because if you have enough on it, when it dries, so just like that, I've got a little piece down here where my finger was, so I'm just going to take that down on there. Um, it does take a little patience, but 50 of them for a pound, I think it's well worth it. Um, so I'm just taking these bits to the edge. Uh, as I say, as it starts to dry, it will move across. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the um, Dazzling Diamonds, um, which we still do, and it is probably one of the nicest, um, sparkliest. And what I do is I put a little bit into the lid so I can um, um, direct it easier. And then you're literally just going to tap it quite gently until it starts to go onto your project so just very gently and you can always come back and add more but you can't take it off so it's a very gentle little tap and the crystal effects um, sorry the dazzling diamonds will go into the crystal effects and when it dries they will be put inside completely so as you're tapping, sort of tap it off as well once it starts coming through as it has. Um, I don't know whether my hand's in the way. Um, I can't really do it any other way, but I will show you as soon as I've finished tapping enough on. Um, and as I say, just continue across quite gently. You can see I'm only getting a few flakes out at a time because you want to build it up, but... You don't want to have sort of one big blob in the other and it not sort of be evenly across. So just, as I say, tap it across for a few seconds like that. And I think that's probably enough. And then you can just put the excess back into the pot very carefully. And put the lid on and you can then come use it again without getting it everywhere. OK, so if I pick this up, I'm going to try and pick it up very carefully. You can see where it's settled in um, to the um, crystal effects and then you just need to leave it to one side. So I'm going to do all of the others, but let me show you one that I've actually finished. I've just got it over here. So if I show you this one, this is one that I did yesterday um, and put this on my hand like this. If you see, it is, you've got a beautiful little embellishment um, that will go on to anything. And as I say, you can make it whatever colour you want. You can tone it into any project you want, depending on which blends you use. But you have a lovely little ornament. And I just thought, as I say, that I would come on and show you because um, 50 wooden heart confetti um, for a pound. And as I say, yes, it's got... Um, on this side, it has Mr. and Mrs. But as I say, flip it over. You've got all of that side to work on. And then, as I say, just put it on with a glue dot onto any project. And you've got some lovely embellishments. So thank you so much for coming on today. And do look forward to seeing you again. Bye bye.